What's up, what's up, my peeps? It's your boy, OG Gangster, straight out of Compton, out there, CPT. Huh? How y'all doing today, man? Come on up in here and hit that like button, that subscription button, and that notification button. So when I'm on, you on. Huh? Just like that. Y'all see what it say, man? Huh? BG everything, man. Huh? BG everything in honor of my son all day long. That's his brand. And I'm going to continue to push it forever. Well, yeah, today, man, I just want to say a little something about two things. First, I want, I want to say something about Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. Then we're going to, I'm going to get it to Brick Baby. But first, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark, man. You know what I'm saying? It just amazes me, man, how all these brothers is on TV kissing ass. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't the best player in the league. And the only reason she in the position that she in is because she white. She haven't won anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they crazy, man. They is crazy, man. You know, and she crying about somebody following her. That's basketball. You going to get fouled. You wasn't saying that when you was in college, when you was doing all your clowning to people, all that, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't saying nothing then. But when Angel Reese crowned you in the championship when they beat y'all, everybody want to say something about, oh, that ain't none, that ain't sportsmanship, none sportsmanship and all that. But y'all wasn't saying that shit when she was beating them other college teams and doing it to them. Yeah, it's a fucking, it's a double standard when it comes to the sisters in the league and the white girls in the league. You know what I'm saying? These brothers is on TV, Stephen A., all these fools kissing her whole ass hole. Kissing all of it. You know, yeah, she's a good player, but she's not the best player in the league. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, she bringing money to the league because she white. But at the end of the day, Stephen A. and all you other motherfuckers, man, what was y'all at before she came to the league? Y'all didn't give a damn about no WNBA. All y'all did is talk bad about it. Now, all of a sudden, they got this Chris I. S. Knacker up in the WNBA. Y'all put on, y'all on, all y'all is in kiss, kiss ass mode. Charles Barkley, kiss ass mode. Shannon Sharp, kiss ass mode. All y'all is in kiss ass mode, man. How about that? What's up with that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't wait for Juju to get Watkins to get into the, into the WNBA. Huh. After she break, after she break all of her records. Yeah, cause Juju the truth. Inside and outside. Man, man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Cheryl Swoops, man, they didn't have so many good black, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh basketball players, female basketball players that's be better than Caitlin. And y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all ain't glorified them. You know, y'all ain't give a damn about the WNBA until this shit right here. Now all y'all hollering about, oh, they jealous. What, what, man, listen, man. Why you think they jealous of her? Well, how you know they just not mad at the WNBA for treating them the way they've been treating them until this Chris I. S. Knacker come into the Lizzie? Why, they, why you don't think they just mad about that? I know damn sure will. I'll be mad about it. I've been in this league busting my ass, and I'm better than her, and she come right up in here and get all the deals and everything. Hell yeah, I'm going to be mad. Huh? Which one of y'all wouldn't be mad if it was y'all? Come on, man. Human nature, man. Don't act like y'all forgot what the fuck human nature is. Yeah, they supposed to be mad. You know what I'm saying? They ain't just supposed to bow down and kiss her ass. They supposed to, she come up in that mall. They supposed to follow her hard. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? If she don't want to get fouled, she need to get out the league. And yeah, welcome to the big league. And at the end of the day, she be on the court talking shit. Y'all act like y'all don't be seeing her out there talking shit when she making shots and running up and down that court. Y'all act like y'all don't see her popping off to the mother females out on the court. Y'all don't see none of that, huh? But soon somebody foul her, and that wasn't even no fragrant foul when she got pushed down. It was a foul, but it wasn't no fragrant one. Get the fuck out of here. Man, y'all crazy, man. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. You sucker, sucker ass, uh-oh, ass, ass lickers. You know, sharp, barkly, 
Smith, Pierce, all y'all. Keep on sucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make y'all self look good for these Chris Ackers, for this other Chris Acker. Fool. Now, I'm done with that. Brick baby, you's an idiot, man. You's a fucking idiot, man. All right, baby, stay up, baby. One love. You all on the show with Adam, man. Talking about, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker ain't, 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 ain't built more caps than you, man. Man, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Anybody that know anything about this street life, man, they already know. They, they already know, man, that they never get on there talking about how many people they done did something to. They done unalived. Tell me ain't nobody, he ain't unalive more people than you. And then Adam got the nerves to play like he don't know what you was talking about. And he gonna say some shit about, uh, what was you talking about? Adam, you trying to get this man put in prison, man. And Brick Baby, you don't even see this shit. Why would he ask you a fucking question like that, man? Basically telling you, asking you to clarify some shit. Why would he ask you that? He's supposed to be your friend. Adam ain't stupid by a long shot, man. Man, I keep telling y'all dummies, man. Adam don't give a f damn about y'all, man. He don't give So what if you go to jail? You just one, one less sucker in his eyes. For real, for real. Man, boy, 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 man. All these dudes that play like they from the street, they damn sure ain't acting like they from the street, man. Because there's a whole lot of shit y'all doing, homie. To make the West Coast look bad, make Crippen look bad, and everything else. I'm just speaking on the Crip side. Making Crippen look bad. Real bad, man. All you motherfuckers that say y'all Crips and this and that. Man, y'all looking real bad, man. And for all you do, everybody across the world, on the East Coast, down South, up North, these dudes is not real Crips, man. Because real Crips does not act like none of these dudes act. And that's real, man. So don't, 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 don't bundle them in with the real ones, homie. Because I got homies that done died for this shit, man. You know, it's all bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't came to that realization. Gang banging, period, is bullshit. But uh, I'm not finna sit up here and, and don't say nothing when these, these are uh, idiots just making, making, making Crips look like straight suckers. Come on, man. And everybody know where everybody at. If any one of these dudes got a problem with each other, all they got to do is go pull up on each other. Oh, they know where everybody, they know where they are. These dudes is doing anything for the internet, man. Anything to get likes. Anything to build up their they subscribers. Man, I don't give a fuck about likes or subscribers, man. Not when I ain't, I'm not finna compromise, you know what I'm saying, my morals. I'm not finna compromise my, my, my character. I'm not finna compromise my integrity to get some likes. Come on, man. That ain't finna happen, man. But I guess some of these dudes don't even know what morals, character, and integrity even mean. For real, for real. I guarantee you, you can go walk up to five, ten brothers right now on the street. Not, whether they gangbangers or not. And ask them what is integrity. I'm willing to bet you. Out of that 10, only two or three know, if that many. Man, come on, man. Shit is crazy out here, man. Shit is crazy, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Like I always say, homie, you can't make somebody that, that ain't real, real. No matter what you do, no matter how you try to teach them, no matter what you show them, you can't make a fake motherfucker real, man. You know what I'm saying? And all I'm going to say is this. Base it off of their actions. That's all. Base it off of what come out their mouth. That's all. That's all. Shit is crazy, man. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, baby. 
<laughs> this your boy OG Gangster. And I'm going to tell you, anything that ever anybody from the street, you ain't got to be from the street, man, to know when it comes to somebody that been unalived or whatever, anything in that category, you take it to the grave. You never mention it. Never. Not even to your wife. My wife didn't ask me before, baby, have you? I don't know nothing what you talking about. So don't talk about it, because I don't even understand it. Even to your wife, you don't say nothing. Nothing, not a zilch. It's your boy OG Gangster, man, straight out of Compton. On OG ENT TV, man. Y'all hit them like buttons, man. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so when I'm on, you on. You know, and make sure you share this podcast, man. Share it. Check your boy out, man. I'm up out of this B.I. One love. Some shit you got to take to the grave.